Hi, my name's Michelle Barrett and I'm the Head of Maths here at Cliss Vale. If you're interested in doing A-level maths, then you need to be really good at doing algebra and trigonometry, and you need to really enjoy problem solving. Um, the A-level course consists of three different areas. There is pure maths, which is the algebra and the trigonometry, and we extend that. There is then statistics, where you analyse real data. And then there is mechanics where you look at the maths behind the physics of different situations. For example, a pulley. Uh, you will get a lot of homework. You have to do a lot of independent study. For every hour that you are taught, you should do one hour of independent study. You will get one-to-one -one support where necessary. We can meet you after school and go through problems. If you are interested in doing engineering, maths or further maths at university, then you also ought to consider the further maths A-level course. That consists of different areas that will be chosen when you join the course. On the A-level course, there are two years of exams. We do two exams in year 12. Each one has pure maths in it. The first one has some stats and the second one has some mechanics. In year 13, there are three exams. The first exam is completely pure maths. The second exam is pure maths with statistics. And the third exam is pure maths and mechanics. So your whole A-level will consist of 50% pure mathematics, 25% statistics and 25% mechanics. If you think this course is for you, I would recommend that you speak to your maths teacher and they will be able to tell you whether it would be an appropriate course for you to follow.